very special guest already up on the stage, yeah, but we include we want audience participation too, so we're going to be having auditions. So the auditions are going to be for today for the characters Starscream, Air Razor, Waspinator, Dinobot, and Tarantulas. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get the auditions under right away. So I'll ask all those interested in performing the character Starscream, please line up single file to the microphone. <laughs> like all the room will go up. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Holy moly, that's a loud microphone. So for those of you who are not familiar with the script reading, each get you will be given a lot of people. It's one try. The uh, judges will judge, and whichever gets the highest score will perform. Does this work? Okay, guys, if we can have your absolute silence. This is a very important moment, and we have to hear every subtle nuance of these performers performance. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The only way we can do that is with abject silence. So let us start, shall we? Okay, so the drill is, you come to the microphone, please state your name, even if you know me from all the years, uh, Gary and Paul might not be familiar with you, so just please straighten your, state your name, and then uh, read the line. And uh, as we were talking about before, the line's already pre-written, so Gary, is ad-libbing okay? Ad-libbing? Uh, well, one of the great things about being a voiceover performer is the ability to lift words off the page and make it your own. So in this particular case, ad-libbing is verboten. All right. No, so I also uh, just want to bring to the attention, sorry, cut it off, Mason. When you are performing, try not to inhale the microphone, so to speak. Keep a, about a good six inches away for a rule of thumb, just uh, between your pinky and your thumb. Just so, just to avoid feedback, to avoid it being too loud, because these people like the use of their eardrums and would like to hear many things to come. Or filling the microphone with gob. Yes. Thank you. Quite a sticky situation. Yeah, and and just, just, to the very just to get back to the, just to get back to the, uh, the ad-libbing part. Uh, now, Paul, ad-libbing is, uh, we we're trying to encourage ad-libbing, but is it a risky business? Ad-libbing, yeah, well, it depends on if the, um, if the writer is in the room, it's really dangerous. Oh. <laughs> uh, danger, danger, everybody, danger, danger. Often, um, the, uh, if you've done a show for a while, it's, it's very cool, um, because you know what the character sounds like, what he's going to do. But often, uh, if you have a director there who wants you word for word, you better stick word for word. Also, seriously, some of the writers don't like you messing around with their words if they wanted something that they would have put in there. So, um, and Gary's, uh, Gary's a big guy, and I wouldn't mess with Gary. If he says no, uh, no ad you know, I'm going with what the colonel says. I, uh, I would say, the, uh, from the writer's point of view, uh, I would say, I would encourage a bit of ad-libbing, but just know that it's risky. If it works, it's great. If it doesn't work, it didn't just not work, you might have bombed yeah. if it didn't work. So it's a risky yeah. business. Improv is, is, you know... It's a risky business. That's what improv is about. It's yeah. joyful, and sometimes it's really embarrassing. I've did it for years, and I've like had my failures. Just... All right. Okay, so but let's... No, no pressure. Just have a fun time. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started with Starscream. What is your, let's see, let's get started. So what is your, first state your name? Just the microphone. Okay. Um, hi, um, I'm Lane. Lane, take it away. I, Decepticon leader Starscream, shall have my revenge. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. Good luck, Starscream. All right. So, what's your name? Uh, My name is Brent. Brent. Take it away, Brent. I, Decepticon leader Starscream, shall have my revenge. Your name, Rainbow Bright. <laughs> <laughs> Good for 
cried.
but I, Decepticon leader Starscream, shall have my revenge! Ooh. <laughs> Audience, do you think he's been revenged? <laughs> I'm Nicely scared. done. My name is John. John! Take it away, John. I, Decepticon leader Starscream, shall have my revenge! Very nice. Hi, my name is Jamie. I'm sorry, what was your name? Jamie. Jamie, take it away. Ready, fools, for I, Decepticon leader Starscream, shall have my revenge! Nice. Dev, take it away. <laughs> Dev and Mike, take it away. I, Decepticon Leader Starscream, shall have my revenge. Ooh. Sounds good. All right. Hello, my name is not Mike. Okay. Norman, take it away. Megatron has fallen. I, Decepticon Leader, shall have my revenge! Nice. Uh, I enjoyed the ad lib that you added for the setup. Very nice, thank you. Yeah? Uh, I'm Marina. Raina? I'm here for entertainment. Raina? <laughs> Marina. Marina. Yes. Take it away. I, Decepticon Leader Starscream, shall have my revenge. <laughs> Uh, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm warming up with this one. All right. Chris? Yes, Chris. Okay. Take it away, Chris, whenever you're ready. Hi, Decepticon leader Starscream. Shall I have my revenge? But uh, we have a winner, and it's Jody. Hi, Jody. Jody, you are there. Right. Good afternoon, Jody. We'll be seeing you in a bit up here. Air Razor. Air Razor. Air Razor is a girl, just so you know. I've never stopped anybody. So all you girly men out there who want to be a girl, go ahead. But I think it's a gender thing. Now, last year, Gary. I don't know if you know this, Gary. You heard this, Gary, or Paul, but uh, last year, there was a male who broke the gender barrier for the female role. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, everyone sit down. Let's 
let's uh, let's try to start. Gary. Okay. Our first name is Anastasia. Huh? Anastasia. 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 Go ahead, Anastasia. Whatever you do, don't poke into the mic. That's what happens when you poke into the mic. Why must the Predacons ruin everything? I'm Mike. Hungry? 
What's your name? Will. Will. Hungry and angry. And sleepy. Okay. <laughs> Why must the Predacons ruin everything? Why must the Predacons run everything?
Well, it's been a little bit of 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 a little Waspinator never gets his way, but that changes now. Waspinator have plans. Waspinator never gets his way, but that changes now. No, Waspinator never gets his way, but that changes now. Waspinator never gets his way, but that changes now. Aaron. Aaron? Yes. Waspinator never gets his way, but that changes now. Very nice. Name's Matt. Waspinator never gets his way, but that changes now. Daniel? Oh, that's been an evidence it's ring, but that changes now. Yes. <laughs> Anastasia? Yes. Wasbinator never gets Wasbinator's way, but that changes now. Never gets his will, but that changes now. Oh. 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 And then, Rafael never gets his way. That changes now. Okay. <laughs> Jamie? Yeah, Rafael never gets his way, but that changes now. Oh. <laughs> I'm also Jamie. Jamie? <laughs> Raspinator never gets his way, but that changes now! Tina? Raspinator never gets his way, but that changes now! Oh, very nice. I'm name's Tina. Will? Okay, Dylan, take I'm it away. I'm doing it. 
conflict is not the practical, maximal way. Nice. Isaac? Okay, well, what's your name again? Isaac. Isaac, go ahead. A cowardly retreat is not the predicon. Uh, maximum way. Oh, man. Nice. That's me, Matthew. Save your applause for the end, guys. A coward retreat is not a predicon or maximal way. All right. Okay. Mike? I. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, Primal? I can't the other street is not a practical. Let's go well. Nice. Okay, wow. Next wow. up. Marina? Marina? I can't the other street is not the practical. Let's go well. Wow, that was pretty, pretty impressive, of course. Chris H, take away. A cowardly retreat is not the Predacon maximal way.
Okay, you so nailed, that was your nailed Dinobot. That was just awesome. Okay, this was really, really difficult as had all of the voices been. There were some really close ones at the other time where we had like five people called back. I had to make a very difficult decision here. Uh, although it wasn't difficult how well this guy did. Ryan. Ryan! Gary, the last voice we have is... Tarantulas. Tarantulas. All you hairy limbed creatures, get up here. Tarantulas. You are? I'm Isaac. Isaac again, I am. <clears throat> Out of my way. <laughs> I have a mission to complete. <laughs> My car. I. My guy. <laughs> my car. All right. Out of my way. <laughs> I have a mission to complete. Yeah. I'm right. Yeah, that would never. You can't do that in the studio, though. <laughs> Very good. That was awesome. All right. Go ahead. Matthew. Go ahead, Matthew. Out of my way. <laughs> I have a mission to complete. Right. Right. Out of my way. I have a mission to complete. Hmm. <laughs> Anastasia. Out of my way.
Okay, and this one, uh, I believe there are, you know, there were a lot of uh, uh, good triers, but the one person that really stuck out in my mind was the fellow with the dreads. So Isaac was a very close second. Okay, so uh, can we have all the voice, all the voice winners, Jody, Brent, Mike J, Ryan, and Christian, come on down please. I want Ima, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to hospital. <laughs> 